hold on, I can't hear you. Thing or what? Okay. Hi. What do you see? Because I just I see you right now. You want to get out of the way. You see. Yeah, I'm gonna spotlight you guys. Um, I only see. I see a little bit of the counter, but if we can tilt it down a little bit more, because I see a lot of above Michael's head. That's better. That's a lot better. Do you want it closer? I think a little bit close. That's perfect, like height wise, but if we could come in a little bit closer so we could yeah, see. Yeah, I gotta get a, yeah, a, a ladder. To put the ladder downstairs. I gotta, yeah, I gotta get a ladder or a. I mean, you can move three inches closer from the honey, it needs a ladder. You can't possibly think of all right, we're going to try to get a ladder. Okay. It was cute, though. It looks pretty good. And even if you can't get too much closer, if you want to, like, walk around the counter and show up close the ingredient, if you're trying to show something. Yeah, I mean, I can do that. Yeah. But I wanted them to see, you know, the mushrooms. I have onions cooking a little bit because they take so much longer. Mm-hmm. I think it looks great. You guys could do a cooking show. Yeah, there you go. And Michael <laughs> has all of his information for um, the nutrition side of it. I love it. We're going to put this ladder here and move the computer and see if that's Yeah, better. that's a great idea. How long do you think it's going to take for the entire cooking demo, Linda? What? How long were you thinking for the entire cooking demo? Around 30 minutes? Yeah. Okay, perfect. That's it. Maybe 20. It depends how fast. To turn this around the other way. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, okay. good. that's much better. No, it's not going to yep. work. I got to get a stool and see if I can rig it up with books. I have a stool downstairs. Yeah. And I'll get books. If we have to leave it here, we will. If not, try to get something that this that's this height. Mm -hmm, I know. It's not always easy. I like my positive attitude t-shirt. I love it. I love <laughs> it. You're on brand. How's your new place? I love it. It's great. We're enjoying it a lot. And we finally have like a back porch, which is such a big deal. In quarantine, we didn't have any outdoor space at the last place. And now you do? Yeah. Oh, so, that's so great. So nice to be able to go outside. I don't really think we can move the um, pie safe because it's too heavy. Unless, unless, it, unless we put on that. All right, let's see if this one's taller. Tiny need to. Really? Yeah. How do you think that's going to work? It's not going to stay. No. Unless it's too wide also. What about um, one of the, the, the stools from upstairs? Because I can, can't, I don't know if I, I can. use one that I have downstairs as the heavy one. Trying to see how high I can get with books. Did you use all the ones over here? Not all right, we're we're adding. We love it. <laughs> all my books. All right, on top. All right, Josie, let's see. Is this better? Bring it down. This is better. Bring it down just a tad. Um, I think that looks good. That looks perfect. Okay. So can you see cutting, the stove? It's cutting. We can move it like that if I'm moving to the stove, right? Yep. Absolutely. The stove. the stove is over. Yeah. If you um, right there, okay, there's a stove. You see the stove you and just have to move your stuff over. You know? yeah, no, I'm just gonna pick it up. And move it yeah. So I can see all the way, the entire like sink and the stove. And all I right. see this is good. 
That works. Okay. Yep, I can see you. This is good. Is the lighting okay? Because I can turn these off if it's better. Is that any better? Is that better? Try it one more time. Turn it on one more time. Keep them on. Keep I on. think it helps a little bit. Yeah, keep them on. Or what about? One more light. These are together. Let's go. I get them through the bowl. Yeah, no, no, no. You like it with the light on for sure? I think the light looks good. Unless, do you guys, what do you think? Turn that off one more time, just that. I sort of like it with that light off. Yeah, it doesn't do much of a difference. So if you prefer it off, let's keep it off. Okay. My head gets cut off, should I rock it back a little bit? No, 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 sit, stand back further. So your hand is all in there. Well, I'm gonna stand here. Yeah, that's okay. So we can move this. I want the stove, so I don't wanna. Just have to rock. Yeah, yeah. But, I, but she wants. And Michael. All that. It's more important to have the, the food and then we can move it. What's the thing that's... Bobby's saying hi to you guys. Hey. <laughs> oh, two people entering the waiting room. I... Yep. We have Bonnie. I'm not sure who Bonnie is. And then Linda A in the waiting room right now. Okay. They're making mushroom soup. Hey, uh, hey, Robbie. Hi. I don't think I've ever even said congratulations. Nice job with the That's ring and the cat, the whole thing. I know. Thank you. We had a dinner date that got canceled a couple times. We did. We were cooking dinner for you. We were going to do a really nice dinner by the fire. We'll do it. We'll do it at some point. We have time. We'll do it, even if we have to, like, you know, sit in my backyard six feet apart. I hate it. I don't know what's normal. <laughs> it's so crazy. What's in the big tub over there? What is this? Over is that coconut oil? Coconut. And I use it on my hands, too. Yeah, that's I put hilarious. some over here. And every time I wash my hands, I put coconut oil on them. Does it help from them dry? Yes. It's great. It Thank saved you. me. Good idea. That is a really good idea. Look at all those mushrooms. Oh my God. <laughs> Lots of mushrooms. He's not a mushroom fan. That's why I'm not cooking along today. Other, I love mushrooms. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just start letting people in and I'll let you guys know when to get started. But okay. we can start greeting people. We have about two minutes until 5.30. Okay, then our class is running. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Oh. Exactly, 528, yeah, our clock is, um... Can you tell me why? Hi, Linda A. Here, let me unmute you, Linda. I'm here, oh, thanks. I'm here with my son, Zach. Hi, Zach. Zach's gonna help me. Uh, I love it. Hey, Zach. Hey, Zach. Look at all your prep, guys. Nice. Linda, <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Look at your both in glasses. <laughs> I know. See, I got. Oh, I got you wash your hair, hair for us, Linda. You didn't wash your hair for us. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, the hat is protecting what's happening here. Oh, oh! I color. I colored my own hair. It I know well. you did. Yeah. I know. I got a card from my son. Hi, Bonnie. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie and Amanda. Linda, Amanda just tuned in. Oh, good. <clears throat> I, Hi guys. I face well, I'm, her I'm not as well prepped, but I'm prepped too. Oh, you're Excellent. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to be watching. Bonnie is? Okay. Sounds good. Take notes for when you make it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making notes. It's yeah. delicious. I've made it before. <laughs> and Mand has made it before too. Really? Is this something you make often, Linda? Yes. Okay. It's so easy. I actually made it the first time with Michael. This is my husband, Michael Bonnie. And then he took over and made it while I was working. I would come home and there would be mushroom soup. I love it. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How, you said a bunch of carrots. I don't know what that meant. Well, in the recipe, it says for a cup, I, I, always, I always double this recipe, so I always do at least two cups, sometimes a little more. Okay, thank you. Manda, when Manda made it, she made it with a lot of carrots. She thinks she went overkill on the carrots, so mm -hmm. you can play with it. 
Okay. And then we'll give people a couple more minutes to tune in and then we'll get started with everything. Okay. I know Melissa's been texting me asking if she could wash her carriage. She, you know. <laughs> so we'll wait at least for uh, Melissa to get on here. All right. Well, we can, you know, we can, we can, I mean, we can start. It's by, you know. Are you guys doing a family FaceTime after this, Linda? No, we do that every Friday at 4.30. We play games. Oh, I love it. It's great. And that's why Linda can't do my stretch class. But maybe know, next week, the think, three of you can. I think next time, that's what we're going to do. That's exactly what I was going to say. We're going to do the stretch instead of... Does Amanda have anything. a set of the balls? I don't know, but they have tennis balls. Yeah, OK. All right, should I start? Or what yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Linda. OK. All right. Amanda, are you on? Melissa's on. Yep. Hi. Hi, <laughs> Melissa. Okay, so Melissa and Linda and Josie know Michael, but Bonnie doesn't. This is Michael. He's my husband. Hello, Bonnie. And nutritionist and chiropractor. And so this recipe is shiitake mushroom soup, but I use other mushrooms as well. Um, right now, I do have the onions saute sauteing because it takes a little while with them. There are very few ingredients. That's the way I cook. I, I, I'm not a gourmet cook, so I need it really simple. What I love about this recipe is it's creamy mushroom soup without any dairy. What makes it creamy is the blender, blending it all together at the end. So I took the coconut oil and butter. So it calls for three tablespoons of coconut oil and one tablespoon of grass butter. I just, I'm, I'm not exact about that, but I do double the recipe. So right now I have mushroom sauteing. I'm gonna just add the carrots and that. And I'm just gonna let it cook down. I have it on like medium to high heat because there's a lot of butter and oil, so nothing's gonna burn here. So while that's cooking down, Michael can talk a little bit about why this soup is so good for right now. Well, one of the things many people know <clears throat> is that shiitake mushrooms are, um, have been around in Chinese and Japanese medicine for several thousand years. Actually, the word shi in Japanese means tree, and taki means mushroom. So it's a tree mushroom. It traditionally grows on hardwood trees like oak. Uh, the mushroom, you can see a little bit here, has a little bit of a stem that comes out. You could actually find them probably in different parts of the country. This is a mushroom knife. It has a little brush on it that you clean the dirt off. We pick these mushrooms up at Costco at uh, Whole Foods, and it says shiitake 365 on here. The other thing that I think is kind of interesting is shiitake mushrooms can be dried. So these can be saved in an emergency situation where suddenly you find that you don't have any food like during a pandemic. And so they, since they boost the immune system, it's a great idea. Since they're dry, you add water, and then you can cook them as, as such. So I did a little bit of research on mushrooms and shiitake mushrooms, so we'd have some data here. My job traditionally is nutrition, but I'm also the sous chef. Linda had me cut up all the onions. I just wanted to mention that I hate cutting onions, so <laughs> I'm a scuba diver, so I use my goggles for scuba diving, and any scuba divers who use the drops to stop them from fogging, these are also good at having using the face mask, walking around doing uh, social distancing. Uh, you can put them inside your glasses if you happen to walk around with sunglasses. So ultimately, I cut the mushrooms up, I mean the, uh, the onions and the, uh, the mushrooms. <clears throat> so the concept here, which is quite interesting, is the mushrooms have what are called beta-glucans in it. A glucan is a polysaccharide. It just means there's lots of sugar, sugar molecules stuck together. And when you ingest it, it triggers the receptor sites on our immune cells that are called natural killer cells. So it boosts or revs up the immune system. And that's one of the things that mushrooms tend to do. So 
anybody who wants to study this stuff, you just go online and study shiitake mushrooms and anything else, and you'll discover. Also, I learned for the first time that it says, when buying mushrooms, choose organic mushrooms without pesticides, as they absorb and concentrate whatever they're grown in, for better or worse. Mushrooms are known to concentrate heavy metals. So there is a product that's called Kelecream or Detoxicream that can be applied transdermally, goes into the body, and it pulls out heavy metals such as lead. It has nothing to do with cooking, but I wanted to mention that because I like the idea of using a cream to get rid of the, uh, the toxin. So that's this concept here. Now, one of the things that's also amazing about this is you may have seen in the literature, especially because a lot of people are paying attention during the pandemic to boost in the immune system, that they're talking about quercetin. <clears throat> now, quercetin, it's Q-U-E-R-C-E-T-I-N, has been getting a lot of press because it's a safe alternative to hydroxychloroquine. Now, one of the reasons that we saw a lot of stuff about hydroxychloroquine is it's called uh, ionophore for zinc. It pulls zinc into the body. So it's very hard now that people know that quercetin is a particularly great thing to take to find quercetin because, of course, like there was no toilet paper, there's no quercetin around. But you do get quercetin naturally in onions and in apples. So this is a cool thing in that it's got the quercetin. And if you're eating a food that has zinc, something like pumpkin seeds, it would also be a great way to get zinc on board if you can't find zinc. So if we're just in that pandemic kind of mode, we want the mushrooms to boost the immune system, and we've got the question in the uh, in the onions in part of the same soup. Also, there's carrots. I'll let Linda jump okay, in. Hold on one second. Holding on. <laughs> I have the onions and the carrots, and I'm just adding salt and pepper. So just to taste whatever you want, salt and pepper, I think on the recipe, which we can Get, get you all, it just says to taste. So that's what I do. And it, um, Melissa, are you cooking this now with me? She is. Yes. Okay. Also, I don't know if Josie muted you, but if you have any questions for Michael or for me, Josie, how do they ask questions? We're not can, muted, right? Yeah, they can unmute themselves if they would like okay. to. Okay, all right. So the onions and carrots have cooked down, I'm going to add all these mushrooms. These cook down to almost nothing. So you'll just see that I'm just going to add all the mushrooms in. And I, these are shiitake and um, regular white and, brown white and brown button mushrooms. Now, Michael, my question to you is, do all mushrooms have benefits or just shiitake? They, there's a bunch that seem to be on the cool list. Shiitake is among them and something called maitake. What's also fascinating is, since we live in the American society, there are a number of products out there that contain mushrooms in a capsule, a pill form. Uh, but again, like you're asking, you can't find them anymore. So you get the mushrooms, you can't buy these. I went online to try to find them and they don't exist. But they usually have a variety of uh, shiitake and reshi. Some of these have four different kinds of mushrooms in them, but most mushrooms, uh, as I mentioned with the Chinese and Japanese, they've been using them for thousands of years and have some to do some stuff. It's something called cordyceps and a bunch of things like that. So the idea is all the ingredients in here, the onion for the quercetin, the carrots have beta carotene in it, and beta carotene becomes uh, what's called a, a proformer for vitamin A, which deals with epithelial cells on the respiratory tract. So you don't want to take too much vitamin A because it can be toxic, especially if you're possibly going to get pregnant. And uh, beta carotene turns into vitamin A. So that's particularly great as well. Linda made it last time with a bit of celery, which we had, which you can certainly do as well. And then in order to turn it into soup, wait, we, wait, wait, don't do that yet. I have to do that. No, no, you have to talk about garlic. Because, I'm going to talk about garlic. Okay, I don't like because, garlic. Okay. <laughs> you can see that you put first saute the onions, carrots, and garlic, and that we didn't do garlic. He doesn't like garlic, but it has a lot of immune healthy properties. Oh, yeah. So talk about garlic. Great for the immune system. I don't like garlic. So I'm going to talk <laughs> about the, the idea of turning it into soup. We add chicken stock. Now, everybody's heard that chicken soup 
has been like Jewish kind of son, has been around for many, many, many years. What's really fascinating is you can also look at that online and it talks a lot about the fact that it's an anti-inflammatory and it prevents this concept of a cytokine storm. What tends to kill people with COVID-19 is that the body in its response has tremendous amounts of the, um, uh, the inflammatory compounds, the cytokines. So a lot of the things in this soup, as well as the quercetin, damper down the uh, cytokine storm and this the storm that tends to kill people. So ultimately, we can add uh, as much chicken and stock as you want, and we cook everything else down, mix it together. Coconut is an amazing thing. The grass-fed uh, butter adds the flavor to it, and we're just sitting here cooking the heck out of it. Um, I'm not sure if I want to go. Is there anything else you want me to talk about specifically? Um, well, I do think you should save what the properties of garlic are, even though you... Now, Lynn is going to talk about garlic because... <laughs> I don't know enough about garlic, but I'm never allowed to use it because he hates it, but I think that it adds flavor and you should use a little bit of garlic. They Marco, you don't like the flavor of garlic? Is that what it is? Uh, yeah, and the fact that when I exhale, it's, you know, it's just too, too powerful, strong. Um, I don't even know that if I have too much onions, it reacts to me, but I, I do well with this. The other thing I wanted to mention is when I make this, since it takes a little bit of time to prepare it, I usually make extra and then I freeze it. So if somebody does get sick and they have this in their freezer, they can certainly, you know, warm it up and then cook it and have it without having to spend the time, uh, which is particularly nice in a, in a storage, in a sick, you know, particular environment like that. Um, do you want to go into anything yeah, else? Yeah, the on? recipe calls for, um, if I double it, which I always do, then it's 32 ounces or a quart. I did a little more mushrooms, a little more onions and carrot, carrot, so I may use a little bit more. I'll see when we get to that point. It's cooking down a lot. Mushrooms really cook down. So you saw that the mushrooms were covering the pot. Now it's about halfway. I don't know, do you wanna see this closer? Well, Linda, um, Linda A has a question. She says, I assume we don't put the chicken stock in yet. Do you want to talk, when is the right time to put in the chicken stock? Okay, what's the question? The right time to put in the chicken stock. Oh, you don't put the chicken stock in until the mushrooms are completely um, cooked down and they've sort of moistened, you know, the water comes out of the mushrooms. You wait till the mushrooms are cooked then. I haven't put this in yet. I will in a few minutes but the mushrooms were getting nice and cooked and they're watered down. I wanted to mention the uh, tool that Linda was talking about. This is an immersion blender. So <clears throat> when you plug it in and while she's cooking the soup, when everything's cooked down, it's been mixed with the chicken stock, I put it in there and I usually use gloves because the heat in the soup is very tough on the hands. And then I blend it and probably a good 10 minutes of blending. Uh, and then it turns into basically a puree. But if you don't have the emulsifier, I've done soups before where I just take the soup, put it in a blender, blend it up, put it in another pot, and do it that way too. You don't have to have it, it's just an easy tool. Linda, do you have to, when you do it in a blender, should the soup be cooled off before you put it in a blender? No. Like, okay. No. They say that it could be hot. I do a corn chowder like that all the time where half of it I blend and the other half I keep, so that's how I, you know, I keep uh, whole corn. So I take half of it when it's hot, put it in the blender, blend it up, put it back in, and that's what gives it a creamy Got it. texture. And it's the same thing with this mushroom soup. I wouldn't fill the blender too high. We yeah. had it explode on us a couple of times. Yeah. Because the heat still bubbling and everything else. Yeah, okay. So that's why the immersion blender is particularly nice. And then cleaning it, you just stick it under water while it's running and, and it cleans it as well. Yeah, that's great. Um, also, the music playing in the background has to be good while you're cooking. Just it makes the food taste so much better. <laughs> that's just a requirement. That is a requirement. Let me know if you're up to. So what's we do? Yeah, I'm not. Apples, onions. Almost fine. Isn't that helpful? Oh. <laughs> Oh, yes, you have a glass of wine when you're cooking. So, Melissa, where are you up to? Are you, did you, were you asking me? Yeah, Melissa? 
Oh, Melissa. And Linda. I, um, I have the mushrooms in there, and they look relatively cooked down. Okay. All right. Mine are almost cooked down, too. And then... In about a minute, I'm going to add the... Oh, it smells yummy. I'm going to add the chicken broth. Last time we made this, we actually used vegetable, vegetable stock, organic vegetable stock, because Sloan and Joe were eating it, and they're vegetarian. So we made the whole thing vegetarian. And we have we ever done it with... Um, yeah, it's this one. Oh, it's open. Hey, Michael, see these glasses? They are actually from Kitchen as a Gadget Chef, and they are mushroom, uh, onion cutting glasses. Oh, they do? Oh, great, great. Well, it's just my idea. I don't, I don't own them, but these are scuba diving. I just didn't wear a snorkel. <laughs> it's fine, and you're going to cook it, so anything's in there, you can kill it. Either. All right, I'm going to add the chicken stock. Salt, or you think you could not be able to do it anyway? I'm going to recycle all the paper. And then I'm going to cook this. I changed the heat a little bit. I can go higher in the heat now because it opens and has to go in here. I should also mention since we're talking about. Um, uh, nutrition and immune system. <clears throat> vitamin D has been getting a tremendous amount of press lately. Uh, there is some vitamin D in mushrooms, but I tend to recommend uh, taking about 5,000 units of vitamin D with vitamin K every day. And they're finding now that a lot of the Americans that have gotten uh, the coronavirus were vitamin D deficient. So yeah, it's got vitamin D in the mushrooms here and a lot of foods don't have it. But it would be a great idea to get vitamin D, and you can still get vitamin D. Okay. All right. I'm going to still let this cook down a little bit. It's cooking everything. The carrot should be soft. The mushroom should be soft. The onions are soft. And in a couple of minutes, we're going to start blending. And did you add both of the boxes of? I just added a quart. It was enough. I had doubled it pretty good. So just one of the boxes, not I just used one. I mean, the recipe calls for a half, so like I said, I double it. I doubled it as well. Okay. Yeah. It makes sense, especially if you can freeze it, you know, and have it for a couple of different nights. I mean, sometimes, I mean, you could even triple it. It's, it depends how big a soup. Like, we're going to have it tonight with a salad, and that is dinner. Are you guys coming over? I also bought too many mushrooms. I wish. I didn't buy I enough mushrooms to double it. I wish too. God. Um, Michael, do you know how many calories per serving this would be? Well, Linda knows all the nutritional stuff. Go ahead, tell me calories. Great, no, no, no. Um, I thought I wrote it down. You know me, Josie, I would write that stuff down, but I don't see it here. Um, There's only three calories. The entire meal, it's only three. But I'll tell you, the fat is coming from whatever's in the chicken broth and the coconut oil and the butter. So it's good. So, good but I'll get that information to you. Yeah, absolutely. Joseph Pilates used to eat this all the time. <laughs> when, when he was in China and Japan uh, studying his Buddhist uh, philosophy, he lived on shiitake mushrooms. Yeah. You're lying. I'm lying. <laughs> not telling the truth. Not ever. <laughs> Melissa, did you put the broth in? Yes. And guess what? Today was a really big day. I ran for the first time today in a year. How's your hamstring? It's, it's good. I mean, you know, when I say that, I'm, I'm on a PT routine, right? So I, I ran for 30 seconds, and then I walked for four and a half minutes, and I did that five or six times. And, but. Awesome. It, it, I can't tell you it was comfortable, but it didn't, I didn't have pain, but it wasn't comfortable, but it felt so good. Oh, that's so, so happy. Great. Yes. Right. Did you wear a mask? 
Uh, not to run, but then I had it in my pocket. There was no one out. It's raining and gross, but I had it in my pocket you know, and I wore it at the grocery store. And you can make a poultice of the soup with one of the hamstrings if there's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> you know him, Melissa. He's just being that, you know. <laughs> All right. So, Wendy's on. Melissa, do you have an emulsifier or are you going to put it in blend? Immersion. I have it. Immersion. You do. Immersion. Yeah. Immersion? It is. Immersion. I'm going to emulsify. He's immersion. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Does it need to boil at all, Linda? Yes. I thank you, Linda. I like it to come to a boil, which it is right now. So, I might need another minute or two. It's okay. Do you want to see what it looks like? We can meet in the middle. I can just, <laughs> if, you, if you can, but. Can you see? No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, so that's what it should look like. And now we're going to. Looks good. I think we're going to blend it. We're going to immersion. It looks very healthy. I mean, to be honest, I don't do as much of the coconut oil and as butter as called for. Linda, you probably did the full amount, like six tablespoons. Hold on, Lin Linda, you're muted. Let me unmute you. I, I used a little less coconut oil. I did use the butter. Yeah. I use both, but I use less than they call for when you double it. It's still, yeah. you get enough, I just, you know, you get enough of the good fat. I don't overkill on that. I just love using a lot of the mushrooms because they do use their own, you know, liquid, which is so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's emulsifying. Uh, what is it? I'm blending. He's blending. You're blending while you're still heating, right? You're blending while you're heating. Yeah. Okay. I took. I'm going to take it down to low. So I don't get scalded. Right. Again. I took it down to low, and he's blending it. But someone did ask me if it was cream inside, and there's no dairy. Yeah, would still make it taste better. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm making rack of lamb with this dinner. What? Oh, I'm just saying that I'm making a rack of lamb with this dinner. I've got it already ready to go in the oven. Oh my god, that looks great, Linda. This is going fast. Well, here, stop that for a second, and I need to show what it looks like. Usually the camera, I'll do this. All right, so this is what it's starting to look like, and we'll do it a little bit more, so it's even more cream. Wait, can you see it? Yep. So we'll do it a little bit more, so it's really smooth and creamy. I'll do some because I get my aggressions out doing it. Linda, we have a question from Hannah. Do you guys add any seasoning besides that salt and pepper that you added? That's it, salt and pepper. To taste. Yeah, I, you know, I added it, but. Yeah, don't pick the blender up, it's a mess. <laughs> I added it when the, when the onions and carrots were cooking. And then I added it again when the, I put the mushrooms in. Okay. And just salt and pepper. It's really easy and there's like no ingredient, I mean, few ingredients. And it tastes great. You have to eat it with chopsticks. Mine is really thick. Should I be added? Do you think I should add more liquid? And it gets real, it gets nice and thick. Right, Melissa? It's getting thick, Linda? It gets really nice and thick. Oh my God, yes. It, it's so delicious. It I, smells I, I, good. Yeah. Linda, um, Melissa asked if she should add more liquid because hers is really thick. What she can add more what? More liquid, more chicken broth. Absolutely, absolutely. If you want it no, not to get too long. If you want it to be, yes, you can add more chicken broth. Okay. For sure. Oops, that 
capacity. I make a corn chowder almost the same way, where I do onions, yeah. red pepper, a little garlic, and a lot of corn. And then I do the blending, but it's the same kind of thing with corn. And then you blend it to make it creamy. That sounds really good. No, I mean, I said I'm eating with a salad. So I think, is it done? Yeah, it's good. Any other questions? Melissa, Linda, how's it looking? Good. Good. Is that what you're going to have for dinner tonight? <laughs> I'm making salmon and broccoli. What did you say? I'm also making salmon and broccoli. Oh, yummy. Delicious. Very healthy. Delicious. All right. We can see what the final... Here, you come bring it over here. I'll show you the soup. There's the soup. Can't really, I'm looking at it. Yeah, you can't get a really good picture of it, but it's. Yeah, you get a it, good idea. But you get a good idea. Yeah, it looks really good. So I hope you got you some burned. good information. You can get cut. You can always. <laughs> <laughs> you Thank you so up. much. Thank you for tuning in for the mushroom soup. Stay Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Everyone. Let Thank us know. You. You Thank you, Linda. We can email you guys the recipe if anybody wants it. Just let us know. Yes. Yeah, I want I want one. Okay, Bonnie, if you have any questions, just call me, email me, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Linda. Bye, Zach. Bye. Bye, Linda. <laughs> Bye, Michael. Bye, Melissa. Nice Bye, Hannah and everyone and Tani. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you, Linda and Michael. That was great. Thank you 